Hello, my name is Craig Seibert and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant for Involved Media. Today we're going to talk about adding media to a project in Adobe Captivate. There are eight types of media you can add to a project in Adobe Captivate. We're just going to discuss six of them that get used mostly when creating a course or an application. Let's start with the Assets Library. Inserting an Asset Library item brings up the Asset Library interface. That interface defaults to showing you the stock images you can choose from to add to your project. These images come with Adobe Captivate and can be used freely. As you can see, you can also choose to add video, audio, buttons, icons, etc. And those also come with your Adobe Captivate install and can be used freely. Just select the item you want and choose Insert at the bottom of the window. If you choose video, you will be required to make some choices on how that video is included in the project. To add SVG, images, or audio, you can just click on any of them, find the file in your local drive, and add it to the slide. Depending on what media you choose to add, the folders you are searching through will be limited down to those specific file types. Once it's on the slide, you can make edits to it just like any other piece of content. Adding video will bring up the same video interface you saw with inserting a video via the assets library, and you can pull the video from your local files as well. The last section we'll talk about is the character section. This will take you to the assets library interface on the characters tab on the left. Here you can choose from the many characters already installed on Captivate to be added to your project. Once you double click on a character, you can see all the poses for that character that you can add to the desktop. You can also click on Discover at the top of the screen to find more characters from the Adobe library to download and use in your project. Once you download the image you want, it will show up in your download section at the top of the page. You can then add it to the project just as you did before. Thank you for spending time with our team at Involve Media. You can find more information on our company and service offerings at involvemedia.com or by emailing us at sales at involvemedia.com.